Hello, this is Brian Casey from The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2025, and we are here with Ward Detweiler. He is president of Imagion Biosystems. Ward, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So Ward, Imagion is developing some really interesting MRI contrast technology that you're going to talk to us about in a minute. But uh, contrast is something that's used throughout medical imaging. Um, it's really commonly used in MRI scans to improve the resolution of images but there's a lot of aspects to MRI contrast that people aren't totally happy with. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the circumstances around MRI contrast and maybe lead into an overview of what you guys are doing? Yeah, so um, maybe to address kind of some of those uh, kind of challenges, I think, with the traditional contrast agents that you were uh, alluding to, you know, they're, while they still provide great resolution on MRI, they're only kind of highlighting suspicion. They're not providing any certainty or any specificity. So you still need to go in and perform some sort of confirmatory biopsy, um, something beyond imaging to make a diagnosis. There's also some concerns around you know, safety profiles with exposure to radiation or other you know, toxins. Um, so what we're developing uh, is a platform called MagSense, which is the kind of uh, first in class molecular MRI imaging agent. Uh, what this does is it is a iron oxide core that is uh, then coated with a targeting ligand that will tag itself to specific types of cancer. So we can really bring that molecular specificity to the already high resolution of MRI. Uh, so now, instead of just looking at something and saying, God, that's suspicious, let's send it out for biopsy, we actually know that the only reason we're seeing that is because those target, those particles are bound to that specific type of cancer that you're looking for. Yeah, and let's be pretty clear here, this is in development right now, you do not have a commercial product out yet. No, we're still in the clinical development phase. Um, we actually have three products in the pipeline right now. Our first product uh, is for HER2 breast cancer, for nodal staging of HER2 breast cancer. Uh, we're preparing that for our phase two study right now. Uh, and we have two other indications for prostate and ovarian cancer that are in the pipeline uh, that we will be preparing for IND enabling studies uh, in, the, you know, in the near future. All right, very good. Now we're here at RSNA, as everybody can see. Uh, what are you guys uh, talking about here at RSNA? Yeah, you know, first and foremost, we're here to raise awareness of the product, both with uh, strategic partners and potential clinical investigators. So we've been having a lot of meetings with radiologists, uh, getting them interested in the study, but also uh, talking to you know, larger companies who may be interested in working with us to drive the commercialization of the product. Uh, bringing this to commercial stage is a big lift, and um, we'd love to have some help along the way. So um, that's a lot of what we've been doing, but, uh, but also looking to the future. Um, one of the kind of visions I have for the product is uh, starting to include some quantitative imaging techniques, which is where my background is, um, which I think that lends us, really creates a nice platform for automated uh, detection and kind of algorithmic AI uh, diagnostics on top of that. So we've been keeping an, an eye out and uh, you know, for some of the emerging companies out there that we may want to partner with as well. All right, very good. What can we ex expect from you guys in 2026? Um, a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of exciting things. So as I mentioned, we're preparing the IND submission right now for our phase two. Uh, we're s hoping to submit that, uh, planning to submit that uh, this month in December, uh, kicking that study off in the early part of 2026. Uh, it's a three-part study, the first focusing just on uh, PK data, then going into looking at uh, dose, op dose and timing optimization before going into the uh, more diagnostic evaluation of that. So by midpoint of next year, I think we'll have some uh, interesting results to share. It's about an 18 to 24 month study overall. Um, I also know promises that I'd, I'd hope that we could advance some of our other indications as well. Um, we'll see if we get some good partners interested in that. All right, very good. Well, it's gonna be great to see you guys progress. Well, Ward Detweiler of Imagion Biosystems, thanks so much for being with us. Great, thank you, Brian. Signing off from RSNA 2025, my name is Brian Casey.